Hello, this video will cover some tips on organizing two main areas of your system that are most susceptible to clutter, the Finder and the Desktop. Mac uses a great file manager called Finder that allows you to see all your folders and files on your hard drive. So let's go ahead and open up our Finder, which you'll find here on your dock. And if I click that and open it up, I now have access to every file and folder on my hard drive. So we're going to look at a few Finder features to help us control the clutter. Let's start at the very root of file organization within our Finder. This is our home folder. Here you will find this is automatically created for every user and constitutes the base level of your file structure. The folder is named after your account login. So as you can see, my login name is brown.bridget and my home folder is named brown.bridget as well. By default, you're given a few folders that are meant to store certain types of files. Some of these include a music folder, a movie folder, and even a documents folder. It's a good idea to try and keep your files organized by this type. Now you can create additional folders inside your home folder instead of using just the existing folders that are here. To do that, all I have to do is click anywhere in this window and my menu will pop up and give me the option to create a new folder, which I can now rename. We'll just call this Clutter. So now, in addition to my other default folders, I have an additional folder here as well. You're also given the option to automate your organization process by working with what are known as smart folders. For those of you who are iTunes users, this is similar to a smart playlist. And the smart folders basically allow you to set rules for allowing uh, the folders to automatically fill themselves with files that meet the criteria you set. So let's create a smart folder. So I'm going to come up here to my menu bar and select my file menu and I'm going to do a new smart folder. And you'll be greeted by a finder window that looks like any other, but now you have a gray bar across the top of the main area which says um, search right here. And if you click this plus sign to the far right, you can add a rule. And so now it's going to give me some criteria to search from. So I can choose by kind of file or last time it was opened, when it was created, or even the name of the file. And then I can even tell it a type of file. So we're going to say that we want to do image files. And then you can see it's bringing up every image file that it's finding on my machine. Now, let's say, for example, I wanted to add some additional criteria. I would click my plus sign again. Maybe I only wanted things that have been used within the last seven days or the last month or something like that. I could come in here and tell it that and then it would only deal with the stuff that I had opened within the last month because sometimes you don't maybe want access to everything in, in this folder. And so if this would look good to me and I have the rules set, I'm going to go ahead and hit save and I'm going to give it a name. So I'm going to call this images last week. And I'm going to save it. And you'll notice here over to your sidebar now I have an additional folder but it looks a little different from some of my others, it has the gear as the icon. This is the symbol that OS X uses to display a smart folder. And the other thing you'll notice is that these folders are always purple in color. So it kind of allows them to stand out. In addition to smart folders, there's another tool which offers a quick way to visually organize your files within your folders. These are called tags. And the way the tags work, you're started with seven default colors and so down here you can see my tags over here in my sidebar. And what you can do is you can assign these tags to certain files 
so that they'll stand out within your folder. So let's go ahead and do that now. Find your menu and choose Preferences. I can click on this Tag button here at the top and it shows me all the tags that I currently have. And you'll notice that these tags are named after their color, but we can rename these tags to be whatever we want them to be. So I'm going to use the red tag and rename it to be anything red is going to be work related. And so now if I come over here and let's say I open up one of my folders and I'm going to tag some of these items as work items. So if I click on the file and come down here, I can select which one of the tags I want to use. And so I'm going to use the red because this is a work item. And so now you see that it has the red tag on it. So now this helps me to visually see better how my files are organized within my folders. Another tool that you have available to you within the Finder is the sorting tool. And this is available here via the gear. And what this is going to allow me to do is to arrange my files by defining a certain criteria. And so here I can say I want you to arrange them by name or by date last opened or even by tags. So that way all my work tags are together and so forth. So I'm going to say arrange by tags. And so now you see it has them divided into sections. And if I had other tags set up, it would maybe if I had the green tags set up, all the green tagged items would display in one area, just like all my work items are displayed in one area. And this is just an additional way for me to visually see things and be a little bit more organized. In addition to keeping your files and folders organized, it's equally as important to keep your desktop free of clutter. A cluttered workstation can have adverse effects on your concentration and even your efficiency. And the same is true when it comes to your regular desktop in your office. And so I found a good way to manage this is to create what I like to call a working folder on my desktop and place it in the dock. And in this folder, I keep items that I'm currently working on so that I can access them quicker, quickly without having to clutter up my desktop. And so you can see here, I have a folder I've created out here on my desktop and I named it Working Folder. But what you're going to do, rather than leave this folder here on the desktop, I'm going to go ahead and place it down onto my dock. And so now what I can do is any items that I'm currently working on, instead of leaving them out here um, on the desktop, I can place them into this working folder. And then I can get to them a lot quicker rather than going into my finder and pulling them out. But then my, my desktop is no longer cluttered. And you can leave this folder out here as well, or you can actually put this one in the trash and just work from the dock, which is what I prefer to do. So those are some tips to help keep your files and folders organized and keep your desktop nice and clean. If you have other questions about Macs and file organization, you can go to Area 66. I've placed a presentation out there that you can look at to get further information.